Hello, this is Khaled again with the STM32 Blue Pill um, uh, on step controller. So, uh, in this video, I'll just uh, go over the uh, correct start sequence uh, that you that you would see in the controller. So, I have the controller here. It has uh, the the Wi-Fi module. This is the STM uh, itself. There are two LEDs here. Which we'll talk about later, and this is the RTC module, which also has the uh, the EEPROM that uh, OnStep uses to uh, store the the configuration and all that. So let me power it up and just so basically have this, and you see this. Okay, it it stopped blinking, so it blinked for a while and then it stopped blinking. And here there are two lights that are on. Okay, this is the power light, which means that the STM is getting power, and the other one is saying that on step is up and it's not tracking yet. Let's do that again and see the sequence. So watch closely the the LEDs that I pointed. Okay, so this guy keeps keeps flashing. This guy, and then after a while it goes solid. So once the second LED here. Which is green in this in this particular module, but sometimes it's red. Uh, it's just the one that's that's on on, on this side of the uh, of the board. Uh, once it goes on, it means that on step has started. Okay, and then after a, a few retries, the uh, Wemos will uh, will connect to the on step. What this tells me is that it's that on step can access the EEPROM that's here. Now, let us watch what will happen. Uh, before 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 the the second part let us uh, confirm that uh, let's confirm that uh, the the android application is running okay and you can see here the uh, the info and just just for the for information i'll just show you the the version the version is basically from yesterday There you go. So it's 4.17 something. So it's basically uh, what uh, uh, it's it's from yesterday and this version four. Now let us go back to the controller. Okay. And what I will, will do is first I'll power it off, and then I'll take the RTC module out and see what see what the startup sequence is. Okay, what I did now is that I took out the the uh, RTC uh, module from the from the board, so you can see that the socket here is empty. Uh, and just for information, the the this is the the real time clock itself, and this is an EEPROM chip. Sometimes I've seen uh, two boards with the legs not not soldered correctly, and that may be a source of uh, of issues. So check them if you if you're facing problems. Okay, now that the, there is no EEPROM that uh, OnStep can uh, access, look what will happen, uh, look what, how the, uh, the Wi-Fi module will behave. Okay. Okay, keeps, keeps flashing here. Okay, keeps flashing again and tries. Keeps flashing. Okay, and it will it will never it will never go steady uh, because once it goes steady it it means that it has connected to on step. Now it cannot it cannot uh, uh, access on step because on step is not working because it can't access the EEPROM. Okay, and the same thing here is that you will see that on the Android app there is no uh, Wi-Fi connection because uh, uh, for the for the Wi-Fi to come up uh, it needs first to connect to the uh, the the Wemos has to connect to the on step first okay so will this be solved if I put the module back uh, let us okay so I plug the the module back in the the RTC module here which has the EEPROM chip on it and let us power up and see what happens okay so the Wemos tries to connect 
and then finally connects and it goes steady and everything is good okay let us go here and uh, try to restart on step uh, the, the the application okay it's up and then if you if you see the tracking here if i if i click the tracking here okay the see the green led here is not is not flashing it's steady but if i press tracking start okay you will see that this green led is flashing so everything is good so that's how to uh, quick test for the uh, on step connectivity and uh, EEPROM is necessary for, for its operation.